Hello. Perfect. Um, follow the steps. First step is replace f of x with y. Then swap the variables. Did not swap the variables. Swap the variables. Now solve for y. Okay. So to solve for y, you're going to add a 5 to both sides. x plus 5 equals 3 fourths y. How do you undo multiplying by 3 fourths? To multiply by the reciprocal or divide by a fraction, but I prefer to multiply by a reciprocal. Some students will take the answer and leave it like this, which always gets them a wrong answer. Because you're not multiplying 4 thirds times x, you're multiplying 4 thirds times x plus 5, right? Mm -hmm. So make sure that you go back and write it like this. Then we replace y with function notation. So this is f inverse of x is equal to 4 thirds times x plus 5. That might not be the final answer on a multiple choice test. They might distribute that. So therefore, it looked like this. Right? Just want to make sure you're aware of either way. Now, the important thing is let's talk about the domain and range. The domain. and Well, this is a line. What do we know about the domain range of a line? Infinity. All real numbers, right? For everything. Domain, all real numbers. <coughs> range, all real numbers. So we don't really need to know the inverse to help us out with that. Okay. So that's the, or the inverse is, doesn't, is not really helpful there, because we already know the, 